Oh, what's up everybody? I guess this is a popper update 13. Uh, today is the what? The 8th of October. Yes, yes, it is 8.46 in the a.m. I started my live show at midnight. Oh, no sound. Well, hold on. And um, turn up your... Oh, I'm live, by the way, so you have to deal with this. Turn up your stuff. I got sound on a... On, I'm on. Should be on. I think it's your end. We'll find out in a minute. Anyway, so I am live. I'm doing the live thing. Look, there I am. If you guys didn't uh, get the email, please go to my website and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, you will uh, be able to be notified when I'm going live. So, uh, I wanted to show you what I did last night. I really started out at... Uh, the adventure I was going to do some pretty cool tests and I started working on this box I wanted to redo my box of controls now I'm not done with it and the schematic is haggardly put together because I just engineered it into my head last night while I did this if you'd like to watch the rerun you can do that over at uh, justin.tv um, and actually if you go to my website where the live shows are there should be a link to be able to watch the video there it might be hard to find because some of that isn't organized very well. But hey, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I've been going for oodles of hours and I've been up since yesterday about three or four hours ago. So 26 hours now. But here's what I wanted to show you. I've managed to put together this control box. Um, everything is in this control box. And um, yeah, this is made out of old junk. Um, every time that something gets replaced or thrown away or in the rain uh, I collect little parts and pieces here and there and everywhere and I've uh, come up with enough pieces and parts to create this little box and um, it's got some selector switches and some push buttons and they light up and all sorts of fun stuff so I'm going to show you how that works really quickly and then I'm going to do a crazy science experiment um, I'll show you what's inside here this is what it looks like um, temporarily two relays, three relays, this one's not very fastened yet. I will be adding two resistors in here, um, so when I turn the system off it'll automatically discharge my capacitor bank. Um, safe and secure every time I hit the stop button. So, some of these are dead. These are uh, not being used at all. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and the corner one. And that one. I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six of them in here right now. Um, this is my control relay. It's an e-stock relay. It kills everything. This is my charge relay that I'm using to charge my capacitors, and that's just a relay I'm using to uh, latch and unlatch a circuit. Um, like I said, I'll do this schematic for you, but right now I, I literally sat down and engineered it last night while I was just working on this box. I started out with nothing and engineered all of this into it. So it's pretty cool. Um, so let me show you how it works. Uh, E-stop. Red light comes on when it's on, you know it's on. Orange light is control to reset. So that's my that's my power on. Now I have power on. See, I have power on. No power. That's actually the voltage from that variac. So, nothing happens. Now I have power on. Now this is my fire button. This is my high voltage fire button. This button doesn't do anything yet. That'll be for the auto um, firing, sequencing. Um, this selector switch turns on my charging, which I'm not going to do just yet. And this is manual charging and stops my auto charging. Okay, so when I hit the fire button here, which is this button, it doesn't light up at the moment because I don't have some of the right parts. Because like I said, I scrounged all these parts from random crap that's been in the rain or been thrown away or parts have been replaced and only used one or two pieces of it. This kind of stuff. Um, so, green, green button. Okay. And my high voltage isn't really arcing very well for whatever reason. But, uh... That's my green button. Now if I want to charge manually, I push this button. Okay, you see the light come on, that means I'm charging. And then I hit this fire button. And it scares the crap out of me every time, it's so freaking loud. Um, I like it. And so if you want to do auto charging, uh, you just flip this switch. And now it's automatically charging, and then I can fire it. And then to stop it, that is so loud. Um, so yeah, that's actually the, the voltage of my, my Variac right now. And then when I turn the charging on, I can actually see it. So it disconnects my meter. And 
fire. And uh, I gotta adjust my gap. But anyway, so emergency stop, and uh, I will have this, so when I hit this stop button, it will discharge my capacitors. I just didn't get that far. So now that you know what I've been up to all night long, um, I'm gonna do something a little crazy. I'm gonna try something here. They say I have no sound. Still, question mark. Because I can hear, I'm good. Anyway, um, I'm going to take this Santa Claus cup. Merry Christmas. Little elves dancing around, isn't that pretty? And I am going to try some tests. I have this seal that I had. And uh, I'm going to place it on here like this. Place this cup upside down like this. I'm going to use that plate that I made for that uh, air cylinder. I got some little little bushings here. I'm going to set these on top. Just to hold the plate off the glass. I'm going to set this on top here. However it fits. And I'm going to fasten these bolts down on top of here. Now, you might ask me, what are you doing? Um, yeah, it's probably a little dangerous. But that's why I got the blast shield. Um, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think I was safe. Um, I would be standing way out. And I actually have a remote button that I'm going to be using, but not for this first test because I'm going to do everything under a vacuum. Once I get all my vacuum tests done with different gases, then I'll come back and I will actually do a, an atmospheric pressure and see what happens to this glass. Um, I'd probably be outside for that one. Um, but I am going to do the vacuum tests because I want to see what's going on inside this chamber, and this is the best way to do it. You can see right here that I have a, a nice view inside this chamber, even even a nice top view. If uh, if I wanted it, I can just set that camera right there. So that's what I'm going to be trying. Um, I'll show you that test in a minute. I do have some random glasses that I found. I used to uh, play the uh, nickel and dime toss at the, uh, at the fairs and stuff, and I have a pile of those glasses. Uh, I have no idea why I kept them, but now I do, so I can blow them up. So uh, this is going to be pretty exciting, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be blowing stuff up in this case, because I want to add another relay to my circuit so that I can isolate my fire button remotely. It's going to be fun. So stick around. We'll see what happens. Alright, so I have... Uh pulled a vacuum and just so you can see the whole view I put a old monitor back there that I plan on maybe trying to fix if it doesn't break and uh, I just put that black back there so you could see there you go uh, so I guess I'm gonna just try high voltage I, I don't have anything in there but there hydrogen or anything like that. I just kind of want to see what happens with uh, air and high voltage. And uh, I guess we could do a capacitor discharge. But for now, I just want to uh, see what high voltage does. I'm going to put my blast shield up. Ready to go. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. I have to turn this uh, monitor off over here because it really screws it up. You guys can't see it. I don't want to... Well, let me reconfigure. I don't want to get the camera too close. And the reason for that is I think I had some real troubles with my camera last time getting it too close to that RF high voltage and all this kind of fun stuff. Alright, I got the lights off. It's light outside, so the light is shining in. I'm going to get you sort of kind of close. I'm going to get you about here, and that's about it, because I'm afraid this high voltage is going to ruin some stuff again. So, let me just kind of stand back. Ah, relay a little loud. There we go. Sorry, here we go. Well, that's just there. Nothing else in there. I'm 
Nothing else in there. Let's add a tiny bit of helium to see what it looks like. Alright, I have added 10 cc's, 20 cc's, excuse me, 20 cc's of uh, helium out of my 99.9% .9 pure helium. Uh, let's see what it looks like. I gotta stay back because this eyeball really screws some stuff up. Alright, I'm going to add um, another little bit. Alright, this is uh, 60 cc's of helium. And uh, we're not at vacuum all the way. And the reason for that is because I added helium. So let's add a little bit more. Okay, I've added 120 cc's total. So here we go. Alrighty. So that's what it looks like. Um. Yeah. So, I just wanted to give you a little update on the amount of light I have in my office. Yeah, lab? What is it? Anyway. Um, yeah, I've been up forever. I gotta go on a milk run. The kids are up and we're out of milk. So, my time's up. I've been out here for uh, 10 hours straight um, after a standard day. So, that's it, Russ, rwgresearch.com. Thank you for the support. It's always, always needed, and I greatly appreciate it. Other than that, um, yeah, I will let this sit and come back to it another day and re uh, wire up my remote so I can stand outside and hit the button under pressure. We're going to see what happens. We will see what happens inside this chamber. I'm excited, and I'm out. See you guys.